Hello, hello, this is Patty Jo. We are picking up kind of in the middle of the uh, state's questioning of the lady from the Dancing Grannies. I'm sorry, I had to cut it kind of short. Um, number one, it was getting late in the afternoon for me, and I do have some scheduling things now that I actually have a job. And um, secondly, I have, I just couldn't. I just needed a break. She, she, she devastates me because I have seen so many things as a paramedic. Please don't ask paramedics the worst thing they've ever seen. It's not a good question. Um, I know you're curious, but you shouldn't be. And it brings them back to terrible things they've seen. So like a thousand terrible things flash before my eyes when somebody asked me that question. But um, one thing is to see someone's body and she probably went, it's pretty obvious, she went her whole life with a very happy life and in the, in the, I, I hate to say the twilight, but in the later years of her life, here she gets to see not only that image, but that image with her friends being the, the people. And that just devastates me because I see flashes on her face where it's obvious. So let's remember, even though we're clowning on Daryl, which is not hard to do. Yes, Trash Goblin Daryl. He devastated this woman and murdered her friends. So let's, let's pick up remembering that while we're clowning. Let's go. Exhibit 152 is 14 seconds in length. I'm going to uh, show it to the witness the entire 14 seconds to see if she recognizes this. With 152. <laughs> Exhibit 152 is 14 seconds in length. And there's our morning I'm repeat. I'm going to uh, show it to the witness the entire 14 seconds to see if she recognizes this. Do you oh recognize what's depicted in that video is what occurred oh and what you saw on November 21st of last year? Uh, yes. Okay. But when the car went hit them it was you know it was on my side and i did it's she's having so much trouble differentiating what she experienced which was obviously very traumatic for her and what she's seeing which just is insult to injury okay so they have to be very specific what do you see see them flying okay. or anything i okay. just but you saw the car come through and you previously testified that you saw the car strike them you didn't see where they went is that just right? leaving the witness um overruled and that's where we stand i'm going to ask that this be admitted into evidence and published to the jury objection what is the relevancy <laughs> what is the relevancy of the video where you actually <laughs> Hitting people that had the most devastating of outcomes. Oh, you, gosh, you were so icky. I get it. I get it. I mean, you, you have to object. I get it. I get it. But just coming from him, it's so insulting. Oh, Jackson's noted it's overruled and exhibit 152 is received. Permission to publish is granted. Grounds for your ruling, Your Honor. Relevant. It's relevant. I'm going to play it at full speed initially, oh and I have played it at 50%. So I will ask you questions after I play it full speed, okay? Mm -hmm. If we can 
uh, play the whole 15 seconds with sound. I have heard those before, but those thumps are obviously, now that we're slowing this down like this, or I am, it's, those thumps are obviously, look at her face, oh my goodness, those thumps are obviously people being struck by his car, how he sit there and roll his eyes. Did you see him roll his eyes? What a freaking monster. There is no word bad enough for him. I hope you watch these, Daryl. Ma'am, who did that red vehicle strike um, in that exhibit, Holy exhibit 152? Holy moly. Leading the witness, uh, saw the video. Tomorrow, saw the video. tomorrow well, Dory. Hold on, there's been an Oops. objection, everyone. Um, and she thinks she did something wrong. The objection is noted. It's overruled. Now you may answer the Ground, question. Grounds for the overrule, Your Honor. <laughs> it's overruled. You may answer. Grounds for the overrule, Your Honor. Go ahead. You may Tomorrow answer. Tomorrow, Duran. Thank you. I'm not going to play it at 50%. She, he, he just can't do it. This is hard. I'm sorry. This is. Tell me you think it's hard, too. This is hard. <clears throat> Look at her face. Oh, my God. Goodness, she's so pale now. She needs to take a drink of water. And that was the car that you saw travel in front of you? Yes. Objection leading the witness. Overruled. Grounds for the overrule, Your Honor. I totally understand he does not want any of this testimony in, and this is probably one of the only times where his interruptions make actual sense to me. He does, she is devastating to him. If, if again, this is another one, I think maybe I said this before, if this was the only witness who testified, nobody else would have had to. There would have been enough. But... It's just so disrespectful. I think this is her only expression where I can say there's a little bit of anger because she just doesn't have this in her. It's overruled. Next wow. question. Ma'am, I'm now gonna, um, if I did not already do it, I'd ask that exhibit 52, 152 be admitted into evidence. I would then direct the witness's attention to exhibit 153, which will show just in front of your screen, okay? Grounds. Um, exhibit 152 was received already. Yeah, like grounds no over to address the idiot. request for grounds by Mr. Brooke due to that. And then the exhibit is up in front of the court, the witness, and the parties, but not published. Objection. I do not consent to or agree to being called that name, Your Honor, for the record. Go ahead, Attorney Basie. Thank you. This clip Would is... Would that be noted for the record, Your Shut Honor? Shut up! Go ahead, Attorney Basie. Thank you. May this... that be... Noted for the Mr. record. Mr. Brooks, Rana. stop interrupting. I just want to make Mr. sure. Mr. Brooks, it's on, stop. I just want to make sure it's on the record. Go ahead, Attorney Basie. Thank you. Um, this clip is 38 seconds in, in length, Your Honor. Um, again, I'm going to show you the first five seconds of this clip and ask if it um, accurately reflects your observations from um, November 21st of last year. <laughs> if you can start. Ma'am, is that um, your group in the Waxer Christmas Parade last November? Yes. Okay. I'd ask that Exhibit 153 be admitted into evidence and be published for the jury. Objection. Relevancy. Exhibit 153 is received. It may be published to the jury. The objection is noted in overrule. Ma'am, I'm going to have it played at full speed, and then I'll ask you some questions and then play it at half speed, okay? Mm -hmm. Clear mics.
Ma'am, what did you see in Exhibit 153 that was just played before you? I seen Bill oh. being hit and thrown towards the sidewalk. And that's Bill Hostel? Yes. And um, I'm going to show it now to, the, to you and the jury. Just a clip of it, starting at zero seconds. At 50% speed, what I'm going to be asking you about is where you are in this clip, okay? So if you can start it. <laughs> I see we may have a future granny in, in front of us here with the green hair. Sure looks like it. <laughs> Rather than see. Um, your objections noted sustain the jury will strike that last question and answer. And the jury will disregard that last answer. Now, if you look at the street, pause. Sorry, keep going. We can pause it now at 21 seconds. I would just ask, did you see after Bill Hospital was struck, did you see some feet <laughs> coming through the screen on the bottom at the very end of that clip? Objection, relevant. I've seen him in the oh. legs, yeah. Okay, and then did you see your feet, Mark? <clears throat> that would have been the approximate area that he was hit. Did you see your feet in the video at the end? It's fine if you didn't. It's Not really. really. Nice. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Ma'am, I'm going to give Mr. Brooks an opportunity to ask you questions as well. Please answer those for him. Go ahead, your cross. Uh, during your testimony, you kept referring to um, a he, he, he. Oh, there uh, it is. There it is. <laughs> he, he, he. He, he, he. <laughs> is that stupid or what? How in the world? This is going to be an iconic legal question from now on. All lawyers, please and include this in your repertoire <laughs> of stupid questions. You referred to a he he he. It, that doesn't even make any sense. Let's watch this lady. She's she's gonna be so gracious to him. I can't I can't even. Oh my God. referring to when you said he, he, he. I can't understand him. <laughs> I can't understand him. <laughs> Ma'am, you are my hero for sure today. You are, oh my God. That, that, laughter through tears is probably one of the best emotions and she watching her friends in those videos was devastating to me but having him ask the he 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 question and have her just not understand him with just that total spark of innocence like i'm really trying to understand you but son you make no sense <laughs> your question a little bit louder she was not yeah. here um, i apologize i'm sorry you need to be closer to the microphone or projector. I, I, okay. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Um, during your testimony, oh you kept referring to a he, he, he. A he like a he, lot of times he. you would say he, I can't, he, I can't. he, he. He did it uh, again and again. Referring to by Look the at he. her. <laughs> who did you mean by the he? He? Yes. She's... When it was showing Bill. That's he. No, not, not Bill the... would be the he. Not that he. That's that's not the right semantics, ma'am. <laughs> the other he he he. <laughs> um, before today, um, I can't. What a joke! <laughs> I swear, if I ever got in trouble, I would want to ask if he could represent me by Zoom. <laughs> So he could ask questions like, who is she, she, she? <laughs> he, he, he. 
Car, car, car. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm going to try really hard. Be good. Be good. Have you seen any of those videos before today? No. <laughs> she just got him rattled. <laughs> he can't even ask us dumb questions. Oh, my God. Um, you stated that you saw a red vehicle uh, sh strike the the grannies. Do you remember if that was, or let me back up. Do you remember what type of vehicle you saw? She said it was it. like an SUV. It wasn't just a car. It was, you know, the flat back. I'm bad for cars. And all I know is I've seen the red streak, and then all of a sudden, I've seen the car in front of me. So, would you describe it as a car? Um, it was a vehicle. <laughs> She's laughing. I am sorry. I am trying so hard to be good. He cannot shake this woman. <laughs> she, she left. He, he, he started off with he. he. <laughs> I guess when you lead off with who is he, he, he. <laughs> and he couldn't get the answer. <laughs> and it's going downhill for, oh my God, I'm crying. <laughs> Goblin. Goblin attorneys at law. <laughs> uh, masters of subject matter jurisdiction. <laughs> we'll always be able to find out who is you <laughs> and who is he. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh how close did it come to you, if you recall? I would say several feet. Several. She was so, so, so in front of the music. Oh my God. How's he gonna and it, it came around the, the, the music vehicle on the right side, and that's where Bill and Tamara were. And I was a little bit this way because I was directly behind the music vehicle. Were you were you able to see into the vehicle in any way? Was I able to what? To to see inside of the vehicle. No. No, because it came behind she, she doesn't even she describes it as a streak. You cannot funnel her into into your stupid goblin attorney at law <laughs> line of ridiculous questions. <laughs> oh, oh, Harvard's going to make this a, a class. <laughs> Harvard's going to make this a class. What are the, what are the class names will be? <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna. I'm, oh my gosh. So, so you didn't get a look at the driver at all? No, I don't oh, have eyes in the back of my head. He. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Do you recall what happened when people were struck by the vehicle? No, I couldn't see them being struck from where I was. I, the vehicle was big, and it was after <laughs> running the over the small people went through. Oh my God! And I see all the people. How is he making? How is he making her testimony and recall of this horrifying thing? <laughs> I will have to say, when I got hit by the car on, um, it was on a highway that that bypasses, you know, one of those highways that bypass the city in the middle. 
And um, we were there uh, for a rollover accident, one car rollover. The lady was already had extricated herself from the car. The engine company, they just went home and went to go eat their, their cold ass dinner. I don't know. They just left us high and dry. No, you know, protection on the highway, nothing. They just blew. And it was engine six. Thank you, engine six for nothing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So they leave. So we are um, holding one of the lanes the police cruiser. So we have a car and an ambulance holding these lanes on this highway in the dark at night. There are other cars at the side. There was a cruiser and I guess a Jeep over at the side who was like following this girl. I think she was spazzing out because she was probably intoxicated. But in, in my city, that's not against the law. I've seen so many drunk drivers like blatantly walk away from the scene. Anyway, just because Marilyn Mosby doesn't want to prosecute low level crimes, that was her thing. She's gone now, thank heavens, but you still can't prosecute anything in, in Baltimore. So, as we're on the side of the road, my, my patient wants to decline. She's in a rollover. She's, you know, completely upset here comes a drunk driver smashes into a cruiser the cruiser goes flying past hits the medic unit <laughs> so he is like running into every car <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but when you explain it's tragic it was horrible it was frightening and here comes the car and the car actually hit me and but when you describe it it's Funny. I don't know. Um, earlier, you testified to he, he, he. Uh, people being thrown to the side of the street. Um, would it be fair to say that? And and I'm going off your last answer to the last question. Would it be fair to say that Compound. you didn't see that with your? You are not going to be able to separate in this lady's mind what she saw and what she found. So when she came back out of this place, I don't know what tavern she was talking about. She saw her friends on the sidewalk. She saw where they landed and she came to the conclusion of, you know, they didn't get up and walk there. But he's going to try to... Uh... Own eyes? No, that's where they were found. That's where they were found. But you see? didn't see it with your own eyes. Oh, my God. No, I couldn't. Semantics. Semantics. Sorry She's not gonna... that. She's not going to fall into it. But that's uh, the answer. You also you. stated... He... That... A few of the people that were struck died instantly. Would that be fair to say? Okay, there we go. That died instantly, you mean? Yeah, you, you stated that a few people that were struck died instantly. Would that be fair to say? Some of them, yeah. Are you a doctor? And two were injured and... How, how would you know for sure that they died instantly if you didn't see them struck? Because... Uh, the police found uh, two of them on the sidewalk, one on the left, one on the right. They were already dead. So were you told by the police that they were dead? That what? Were you told by the police <clears throat> that they had passed away? I could see they were working on them and weren't getting anywhere. How could you call that passed away? Passed away is when somebody goes to bed and doesn't wake up. Passed away is when you have a sudden heart attack. So passed away is not when you get run over by an SUV. They were trying to get the heart started with the heart machines. 
nothing was working. So they and you, you know that for sure? I seen them working on them, yes. Not but, all of them, but on some of them. So was it fair to say at that time that you had no uh, medical diagnosis at that point in time? Yeah, maybe they suddenly died of something else. <laughs> nobody yeah. gives nobody diagnosis. They just were working on them and trying to get them revived. There's no diagnosis. But so, they couldn't do it. So it would be fair to say at that time you had no knowledge of the injuries sustained. Substained. Um, no. Substained. God, what an idiot. Oh my God. He, he, he. I can't even with him today. <sighs> you stated that uh, I believe it was uh, a Kathy. Did you know a Kathy that was part of your uh, group? Yes. Two Kathys. You stated, I don't remember which one, but you stated that one of the Kathys um, had a sister or something? Yes, was... in, on the sidewalk watching the parade. Um, do you recall the sister's name? No. Are you sure it was a sister or maybe just a relative? Could have been a sister or a relative. A brother. I figured it was or a these sister. Days. So it would be fair to say you didn't know for sure who oh it was. Oh, my God. Who cares? It was someone uh, in the family. You may answer it. Go ahead. You who may cares? answer. Okay. It was someone in her family that was trying to console her, but she was just standing there out of control, weeping. and. Um, you stated that uh, there was a, mu a music Vanners of My, some sort. Our views of me. He acts like he's confused that there would be a music van for the dancing women in a parade. Like, like this, none of this existed in his reality. <clears throat> a lot of people wonder why he did this. We know he was running away. He wanted to kill Erica. Patterson. He was running away from the scene of his last crime. He feels entitled to just do whatever he wants to do. We know all of these things. The narcissistic ridiculousness of Daryl Brooks is why he did this. But it's almost as if he pretends as if they're not real to him. What I, I don't, we will never know. That's what's frustrating. Like, and how did his mother raise him to think that he, he just could stomp through life? I, I mean, I've made, made fun of him. He stomped all over Wisconsin. He stomped all over really the U.S., but he just stomps everywhere. Music vehicle. And you also stated that you couldn't hear what was going on behind you because the music van. Would that be fair to say? That's yeah. right. I didn't hear anything. I'm just seeing a red streak. When, when you were came. speeding around and ran over yes, her friends. Yeah. So would it be fair to say that if a vehicle was honking a horn, you wouldn't have heard it if it was behind you? Oh my I God. don't know. <clears throat> no, there was no horns. But you don't know for sure because you stated that the music was playing pretty loudly. Would that be fair to say? That's for sure. But whether I would hear a horn or not, I don't know. There you go. She doesn't know. That's as close as you're getting to your semantics, narcissist. These guys are not sweating any of the... They Were you know, able to see they know uh, a license plate number of the vehicle? This. No. <laughs> I was just shocked that a vehicle would be in the parade route. I didn't have time to read a license plate. Yeah, she's laughing at you again, Daryl. She thinks you're ridiculous. And tragic at the same time. Look at the hole in the back of his head. 
look, look. And you stated uh, I wish I stop. that there is a, also a member of your group named Lola. Named what? Lola. Lola, oh, yes, Jesus. it was her husband, Bill. And she, to, to your knowledge, to your recollection, Lola was not injured? No. You spoke of, uh, you spoke with knowledge of a lot of the injuries. Would that be fair to say? Yes. Um, have you yourself ever had any medical training of any kind? No, my family is all in the medical field. Have you yourself ever no. been in the medical field? No. I suspected that. That she had not. Look, 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 look. Uh, uh, can I get it? Can I Did, get it? Oh, can't. Do you see anyone Missed behind it. you struck? Behind no, you? Because I was behind her. That is the dumbest question ever. <laughs> the music vehicle. No, no, I'm sorry. I mean, it's in not. Front of the music it was he, he, he was the dumbest question ever. <laughs> and you yourself weren't injured, right? No. Oh, my God. No. How long is this going to go The car on? couldn't get at me because they would have to go through the car. I have a funny feeling this is going to go south, go you left stated, in a minute. Um, that you went in, inside of a building at, at some point? Oh, God. Or yes. one of the businesses? Yes. And you, you stated that you couldn't stay in there because you wanted to see how bad everything was outside. Would that be fair to say? Well, I was outside first, walking and seeing everybody, then watching them work on them. And the tavern was trying to comfort us by inviting us in for coffee or water or something to get us. But I couldn't stay in there. I had to be out there with them people. Do you recall about how long you stayed in the tavern, I think you said it was, before you yeah, went back, back out? I would say five, between five minutes and ten. So when were you uh, informed by, uh, I guess I would say, uh, medical personnel of the injuries to your group? When I seen them working on them, they had the heart machine on Ginny and blood was pouring out of her mouth and, and I knew she was gone. There was no doubt about it. At, at any time, during the incident, did medical personnel come to you and no. tell you injuries? No, just the police came to me to rec to um, to know that where Lee was, because I was wondering where she was, and the police showed me her photo. And there is a huge difference between what Daryl is trying to get at, which is. A medical examiner was not on scene to inform this untrained person that these people were deceased. And anybody being able to look at someone after a tra traumatizing accident to see that it's not a viable resuscitation, it is obvious. And, um, I guess what, what I can say as far as paramedics are concerned, traumas are, are pretty, there, there is a line where it's obvious that, that you're probably working on futilely. Um, whether you continue or not is based on the type of injury. Um, if you think you can keep the heart going and the breathing going, 
and the bleeding controlled, then we leave it up to the trauma surgeons. So we will transport that if we can. If you cannot get that person at least to some sort of viable state, like any response, which is rare, actually, then, you know, that that's the time. But, but traumas, a lot of times, are transported. Even when it doesn't look good. Because we don't know until somebody can open the chest and see if the damage is beyond repair. And trauma surgeons are pretty impressive. Said that she was gone. At one point in, uh, in your uh, earlier testimony, you pointed to the defendant table and said, that's him from the news. Any reason why you would say that? From the news? I yeah, didn't, that's... I didn't say that. You, you testified that you saw... It was stricken, actually. ...to the defendant's table. And that's said, you. that's him from the news. And you were cut off right in mid-sentence. Because it was stricken. I wasn't saying that at all. So have you ever seen any news coverage of the incident? Um... From like from Lola, I knew that her that Bill had died during surgery that evening, and so I knew that from her, because she was at the hospital with him. I knew about. Um, Ma'am, did you hear the question about uh, about seeing news reports? And just be a little more specific on the time. Okay? I don't know what I'm, you I'm mean sorry. about news reports. Fair enough. On the regular news or? He'll rephrase. Okay. At any time, did you, do you recall seeing any news reports related to the incident? At any time? It was on the news. Yes. So, so it would be fair to say that you watched reports of the incident? When it was on the regular news in the evening. Was it? They didn't cover much of it. They just showed that the dancing grannies, you know, that. Would it be fair to say you you learned uh, additional information that you didn't have when you were at the incident from yeah. the news? Uh, not from the news, I didn't know. Okay. I knew from the family. So would it be fair to say that before you received information from the families, you weren't sure of the exact injuries to the grannies in your group? Some of them I knew right away and because you, of the police. Did you know just from observation or were you told? Um, I was pretty much told. And from the videos that you saw here today, which you already stated it was your first time seeing any of those videos. Yes. Did you see anything in those videos today that you didn't see at the time of the incident? Yes. Yeah, the people being hit. And flying. Once the car was in front of me, it, 
that's when it left the bodies behind. Wow. Wow, that was powerful. Once the car was in front of me, it left the bodies behind. You can't unring that, even though it probably shouldn't have been said. But you didn't actually see. I the couldn't. The car was in my way. She's already said this a couple of times. He's not going to shake her testimony and he's not going to make her look <sighs> not credible because she's repeated it the same way every time. There's there's no reasonable doubt here, Daryl. And do you recall who else was not injured from your group? Was not injured. Besides oh, yeah. besides Lola? Lola. Uh, the four of us were not injured. Uh, do you recall the names of who that. was not Lola injured? Lola has to speak for herself. Um, Kathy Z, Sharon Millard. Um, me and Lola and Kathy. The other Kathy. There's two Kathys. We missed the dogs at the park. Both both Kathys, to your knowledge, were not injured. No, they weren't. We were all that was left standing. Do you recall about what time you left the parade after the incident? What do you mean after the incident? Do, do you recall what time you, you left, left the parade? Um, that was when everybody was taken away. And um, I think then we were in the bar having a cup of coffee and then I had to find a way home because the music vehicle had to stay there because it was a crime scene. So, so Kathy Z's family took her home, so they gave me a ride right away, too. And you don't recall about what time that was? No. That would be fair with, a, with everything else going on. I love... I used to love the geriatric patients because, to be honest, they were the easiest and the hardest patients to get history from. Uh, we're taught as paramedics to ask open-ended questions. What is your medical, do you have medical history? Most of them start, well, in 1919, I had rheumatic fever, and then they, they blah, 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 blah. And sometimes I wouldn't even have to ask another question, say another word, just sit there and listen and pick out the pieces that were pertinent to what I was doing. <laughs> but at the same time, they can be the hardest because they do have so much more background to say. At any time in the the days following the incident, did you see any reports of a suspect at, at any time? I seen it on the news that a suspect was taken or found, I should say. And and what what are you referencing when you say found? What was I what? Oh, found, in other words, the police found him. I didn't know who, where, or who he was at the time. I don't recall if this question was asked, so I'm going to ask it. Were, were you there with any of your family members, immediate family or anything? 
my immediate family members, just my husband. And he was driving the music vehicle. Was he in was he injured in any way? No. Outside of being shot by what well, he was seeing. Phys physical, physically, physical injury. Did he, no, did he suffer no, any physical? he was in the car. I love how he doesn't count the emotional injury. Do you recall giving any uh, police statement or were you interviewed by any law enforcement yes. after the incident? Yes. Do you recall uh, if it was the same night of the incident or in the days following? Both. Both? Right there at the time and then the next day. Did you ever uh, file any claims related to the incident? I believe not of the incident, no, because I was there when they were talking to the gals that weren't hurt. They were like interviewing us. The the four of you, correct? The four that weren't, uh, the two, yeah, the two cats. Yeah, the ones that were left, yeah. Um, do you know if they filed any claims related to the incident? No. Well, how would you? Know? What? Do you know if they filed any claims related to the incident? <sighs> Grounds. Well, just speculation. Grounds. <clears throat> um, the way that he asked it is uh, overruled. Um, so you may answer if you know. Okay. Um, no, because we were all together and came to every interview that they needed from us. Do you recall uh, seeing or reading any complaints related to the incident? Sergeant. Grounds. Sustained as to the form of the question. You don't have to answer that. Okay. Should I rephrase the question or? It was sustained as to the form of the question. <clears throat> At any time during uh, any interviews with law enforcement, were you shown a complaint related to the incident? Objection, Ben. Grounds. Sustained as to the form of the question. Were you informed that it may be a possibility that you might be called to testify in this matter? Um, a lot later, um, not at the time. We, I had no idea of testimony until. Would you, would you say much later as you say, would, would that refer to weeks, months? Months. I was in no shape at the time to testify or talk about anything. Uh, wow. Do you recall seeking to testify? W wanting to testify? No, I didn't ask to. This just happened when we would be in our interviews with, and then. So it would be, it would be fair to say that you were asked or yes. subpoena? Yes. Do you recall by whom? I imagine the DA, sir. <clears throat> when you say the DAs, do you mean the district attorney's office? <clears throat> yes. Did they ever identify to you as being the plaintiff in this matter? Grounds. Uh, sustained. 
Next question. Grounds for the substantial you're running? Relevance grounds. <laughs> Do you recall ever, ever? Zach Wichell looked like his ears were bleeding on the inside. Oh my god! Being told Poor that guy. there was a plaintiff in this matter. Oh. Uh, no, it's just I was interviewed a few times, the five of us, um, and that was pretty much the end of it until months ago, where. We were subpoenaed. I think probably a little explanation is needed uh, um, it, 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 to, to, to get you to my semantics. Are you aware what a plaintiff is? Oh my God! Ground. Shut up. Sustain. Grounds for the sustain, Your Honor. Next question is. You're be. stupid. That's the grounds. Grounds for the sustain. Your Honor. Ask your next question, please. I, 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 I am. I just want to know the grounds, just for the record. The grounds for the, for the record. Sustain. She Ask doesn't your need next to question. tell you that. Haven't we your already Honor, gone through this with him? The grounds should be put this on the rush. record. Ask your next question. I'll address this all at the next break outside the presence of the jury. Ask your next question. Again. Because haven't we already been told? How Your Honor, with all respect, an I objection works. Your Honor, 11, ask okay. your next question, or I will determine that the cross examination is now closed. No, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going to keep going. I just think the jury deserves to hear Mr. Brooks. I'm instructing you to stop making those statements. The jury will disregard this is the cross examination, it's not your opportunity to make legal arguments or. Uh, to testify, you'll have an opportunity if you so choose to do that later. With all respect, Next that, that is not question. questifying. The jury just deserves to know. All right, um, under 90611, um, okay. the cross examination I, I will be determined. Question, Sir, you didn't follow my very clear instructions. Um, does the state have any follow up? No, Your Honor. All right, thank you, ma'am. You may step objection down. To that, Your Honor. Your I, objections I not, noted. Ma'am, you I may step not. down, and after she steps down, I will be excusing the jury for a few moments. Please rise for the witness and for the jury as they leave the courtroom. Mr. Brooks, please wait. <laughs> Ooh, did you see that? You may have a seat, everyone. I know that a lot of people, and I actually was listening to a uh, podcast about how, even still years later, there were some criticisms of the way she handled this. And understandably, she was trying to preserve the record and things. And, and you can't, any anybody who thinks that there is control over a situation, it's an illusion of control. She has the illusion of control of this courtroom because people agree to the social construct that we've all agreed to. There's rules and we agree to them. Daryl doesn't agree to them. So he just goes in there and acts a fool. None of the other people who are agreeing to these rules can control that other than to continue to do what they did, which was adhere to the rules. So sometimes it works. Sometimes it had to be controlled again in a different way or higher level of rules needed to be applied, things like that. But I think that there were a lot of looks like the one we just saw where she seriously made him stop. <laughs> you know, like the shoe was coming off or the earrings were coming off or whatever. Uh, whatever your mom used to do. 
to specifically address the repeated request by Mr. Brooks for the court to state the grounds, sir. I am not legally required to do that. Those are legal Thank determinations you. Uh, that if you feel there is an error later on, you can address on appeal if you are convicted. I have been answering many of them uh, at your request, but I may not do that at all times. In fact, you're asking me to provide that explanation and really highlight for the jury um, why you're the stupid court's opinion on relevance. That's why we. And so, in a very nice way, she said, "Not only am I not required to do this, but by doing it, or by asking me to do it." You're asking me to explain to the jury where you went dumb. <laughs> where did you go dumb? Okay, show your work. You're asking me to show that to the jury. Quite frankly, you should just take the L and move on. <laughs> Don't state that. There's an objection. It's a party makes it, states the grounds. Uh, sometimes I ask the opposing party um, for their position. Um, sometimes I do not. Many times it's very self-evident. Either the objections are baseless. Many of the hearsay objections are baseless. Um, your objection to hearsay is it's not hearsay. Uh, so that's why to me they're self-evident. I say sustained and we go forward. So you need to be aware, sir, that when you ask for the grounds, you're asking me to state a legal conclusion in front of the jury. Um, which I don't feel is necessary uh, for the reasons that I've already stated, that um, you're asking me to highlight uh, my opinion on relevance. and my Or you went dumb. On She's relevance. trying to be so nice. Going forward, you need to be aware of that. Um, again, not a sign of... She's trying to be polite. She's trying to be polite. The beginning of COVID, the paramedics were asked to ask the patients with COVID symptoms or with known COVID to, you know, a certain series of questions. And every day these questions would change. Some would go away, new ones would come in and every day would come in with the yesterday's questions answered and today they'd be all new. So I was asking this young man who took a home test at the, so it was a, early on in COVID, but not that early. Uh, and he said, well, I took a COVID test and it's positive. So I called you and, and I wanted to go to the hospital. Well, he was a young man. He ran, sprinted across the, uh, a part of the parking lot so that we didn't even make it out of the medic to go to his house to pick him up. Jumps in the back of the medic. He doesn't look at all physically, you know, he, he may feel ill, but he doesn't look at all physically you know, torn down by this. It's not a, a extreme viral infection at this point by any means, by any stretch. So one of the questions, one of the new questions from the day before was, have you had a vaccine? So it was pretty early on if, if I was asking this for the first time. Oh, I don't believe in the vaccines. Okay, so I don't know what your opinion was or is and nor does it really matter because I didn't really care whether you agreed with it or not if you don't agree don't get the vaccine if you agree with it get the vaccine I was actually mandated to get it to keep my job I decided that, that wasn't a consequence I was really ready to die on that hill so I simply got the vaccine I had no I didn't have a I had one response to one of the shots I, I no nothing nothing you know, earth shattering to me. So I, I respect, okay, I, I don't believe in the vaccine. Okay, fine. I said, do you believe in COVID? Because you have it. And now you're exposing it to me and my family because you think you need to go to the hospital. Why do you think you need to go to the hospital? Well, I have COVID. Not every person has to go to the hospital if they have COVID. In fact, if you're not showing the more serious signs, you, you really shouldn't be going to the hospital because you're just exposing everybody else to it. And that really is what exponentially continues this problem. Well, I want to go to the hospital. 
And, and then he goes, well, what did you ask me the vaccine for? I said, and it's a question they want us to ask, you know, whether you have the vaccine or not. I don't know if they're taking statistics or if they really think this, you know, that there's some sort of correlation to something. I don't know. No, nor do I really care. They want me to ask, ask. Um, and then he, well, I think that it, it, it makes you glow. And I looked up at him and I'm like, are you dumb? <laughs> Is this where you went dumb on that? Because if you don't believe, if you don't want to take the vaccine, I, because you don't believe it, it, you know, it was researched well or whatever it is you think, uh, but glow? <laughs> you think that the government has time to make you glow? <laughs> Lord. Oh my God. Oh. I guess being a paramedic means that your mind has to be open. But apparently at that point I decided that my 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 mind had to be so open that my brain had to fall out. <laughs> Disrespect. It's the record uh, is self-evident. Many, many times if I feel that more argument is needed, I'll excuse the jury. She doesn't want to make you look stupider than you look. Uh, up until this point. And I will caution you once again, sir, 90611 is the statute mode and order of interrogation and presentation controlled by the judge. The judge shall exercise reasonable control over the mode and order of interrogating witnesses and presenting evidence forever. so as to do all of the following. A, make the interrogation and presentation effective for the ascertainment of the truth. B, avoid needless consumption of time. C, protect witnesses from harassment or undue embarrassment. Um, and it goes on, but for purposes of what I'm going through, that's the most relevant portion of 90611. So when I give you the warning that under 90611, I will cut off your cross-examination, it's because you're violating 90611. So, is that a judicial determination that I violated 906.11 when... I'm advising when, you, sir, um, it's not a specific determination as to anything uh, that's happened thus far, just a summary of why I am relying upon 906.11 uh, throughout the uh, questioning of witnesses and the presentation of evidence. Your Honor, um, so with that, we're going to continue. I'm going to have the state be ready with their next witness. Your Honor, I'm, I'm not interrupting you. I'm letting you make a clear record. And Mr. I, Brooks, you have actually interrupted me. I just let you go through the whole uh, citing of uh, 906.11 without saying anything. I, I'm I, not asking for the parties to make an argument under 906.11. So I'm advising you. Stop interrupting me, please. I'm advising. He really thinks he's in control. He really thinks he gets to just talk whenever and then throw a tantrum. Look at him throw a tantrum. Thank you, sir, uh, so that you have hopefully more knowledge and awareness as it relates to the statue that I've cited um, dozens of time. times during this trial I'm, I'm well aware of what i'm citing your honor well aware <laughs> of what i'm, I'm citing I'm just no she is citing it to be clear um with all due respect your honor um that's judicial misconduct because you're not allowing the jury who deserves to hear certain aspects of testimony um like i stated yesterday under the sixth amendment i have the right to face my accuser which means that I can question about clearly the plaintiff being the accuser. How come I can't question? A he uses the word clearly and obviously as like a filler. Like people would say, you know how young kids say like this and like that. It's like this. It's like that. Or um, he uses it as a filler for that clearly like he's got nothing it's, it's after he says the word clearly everything he says has no basis in reality <laughs> about uh if a witness may know or have uh, here, had any prior interactions or any conversations or or anything of the sort with the plaintiff who has yet to show their face also i didn't even the reason why 
I was ejecting the way I was is because I was trying to get to the question of um, the witness saying that about the four um, ladies in her group that were not injured. Um, there's relevancy because with her stating on the record, clearly for the record and for your honor and for the court and for the jury that these ladies were not injured in any way, but yet there's so still charges ahead. associated with these, with these ladies who were not injured. That should be dismissed. Okay. So there's one lady on the injured list, Lola, who she, this lady says wasn't injured physically. Is this Lola? If you want to, if you want to make that clear, then call Lola, subpoena Lola. Okay. If you subpoena her and ask her, then that could be grounds for that one out of the nearly hundred charges. God. Uh, I know the wall is covered with red paint, Mom, but see this one little speck? It was already here. We are not at that point, sir. The charges oh I read God. refer you to the preliminary jury instructions for first degree recklessly endangering safety in the elements or the elements. Does not say you have to injure somebody. Even I remember that. She's going to say it right now. Let's let her. They don't need to prove. There are certain elements. And so um, I'm not going to have a debate with you over the law at this point. I've made my rulings as it relates to certain questions that you see. But also he is, is he asking or trying to present a motion to drop one of the charges? I don't think he knows how to do that. And he not presented any legal basis, although he may have a spark of a point. A lawyer would have been able to make an argument. You have asked and whether they're relevant, whether they're vague, whether they call for speculation or a whole host of uh, reasons that a question can be objected to. I'm not further going to address uh, your uh, position oh, on. Um, now I request a legal reconsideration. Oh, God, here we go. I'm not done with what I was trying to say. Thank you. Um, it was no way for you, me to know that because you paused. I'm sorry. I apologize. Just because I paused doesn't mean I'm done. But so. you paused for quite a while, so I wasn't sure. Oh, In any event, did. sir, we're going to keep going. Um, any error you believe I've made, you can raise again on appeal if you are convicted. convicted. But we will proceed forward. Does the state have I'm their next witness available? Please do not interrupt. I'm asking this that's why question. I just, that's why I was Mr. just Mr. Brooks, quiet. you're interrupting. Stop. Does okay, the state have available... Over their next witness. We do, but could we please request a comfort break, Your Honor? I'm sorry, but we sure. haven't gone about two hours now. All right, that's fine. As we'll out. A, uh, I need comfort break, too. <laughs> that's fine. You're welcome. Oh, record, Lord. Honor, Objection. I don't want anybody to be matter. comfortable. <laughs> Jurisdiction. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Stop. Oh, Daryl, stop. Okay, everybody, like, subscribe, un dislike, whatever it is you, you are going to say, please, please feel free to say it. Um, I, I'm happy to hear it. I love reading the uh, comments. Uh, somebody loved when I called him, what a dumpster goblin. <laughs> uh, the, the attorneys of... The dumpster goblin attorneys. <laughs> uh, authors of famous legal arguments like who is you and subject matter jurisdiction and who is he he he. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Everybody have a safe day. I don't know if I'm going to do any more today but uh, because I got uh, to work tonight and I'm going to have my granddaughter tomorrow so maybe a few days before I get back to this. But Hope I've given you enough to catch up on. I'll see you and thank you for joining so much.